All right, time to continue on the IT Top 15. We used to do 50, then we did 30, but because we have so few shows before opening day, we've chopped it down to 1-5. So we continue. This isn't always necessarily the best players in baseball. It's a combination. you got to be talented, and you got to bring something to intentional talk. So let's see who's next. Number 12, Tyler Glasnow. When you were born in 93, the songs at the top of the charts were Whitney Houston's I Always Love You, Jam. Tag Team's Whoop, There It Is, and Dr. Dre's Nothing But a G Thing. Out of those three th songs, which would you use for a walkout song? Dr. Dre, Nothing But a G Thing, for sure. Have you heard that song? No, I haven't. You haven't heard it? No. You have to get the, uh, the clean version. You know Kevin Millar as huh? a television star and not as a Major League Baseball player, right? No, 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 no. I know him as an 04 champ, big guy. That's all I know. <laughs> have you ever done some modeling? That's probably one of the better, smarter purchases of my life. Who's better looking, you or a Kiermaier? Oh. oh. Kiermaier. That dude's a snack. What kind of question is that? Are you crazy? So you did a little touring when you were out to San Francisco, and it was your idea. So what kind of Yelp scale did you give yourself, or would Blake Snell and Stanek have left you as a tour guide. Uh, what? Wait, you're asking like as far as what? Tyler, congratulations. You made it a full <laughs> seven minutes before you were completely baffled by one of Millar's questions. Usually it's about two questions in. Uh, as far as the pitcher, Tyler Glass now, people forget he was actually leading the AL and ERA when he went on the shelf last May. I think this is a guy that's going to get Cy Young votes as long as he's healthy this year. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any question about it. This it's, dude's potentially the nastiest pitcher uh, in all of baseball, especially the nastiest starting pitcher. I mean, he throws near 100 miles per hour. He's got that nasty hook to go with it. And mm. I tell you, you know, if you always wonder how uh, how and why the uh, the Astros may have been on his pitches. Um, <laughs> I don't mean to go yeah. there, but he he got he got roughed up by him yeah. in the playoffs. So now all of a sudden yeah. things might start to make a little more sense. I never understood how so 100 year, coming in on my hands was he did a buggy whip. Go ahead. And we don't need to get As back we into digress, that. We yes. a ton of time on that in the offseason. Yes. You know what? So uh, whenever we have a new guest on the show, you know, and he was great last year, and he'll be on a bunch this season. My, I always tell my wife Michelle, and she stopped and she goes. Who is that? I was like, he's only six foot eight and has hair to die for, and he's a stud. And I mean, are you kidding me? Like male model on top of everything else, Burns? Yeah. Uh, no, there's there's no doubt about it. Good looking dude. Jeez, oh man, enough. All right, uh, one of our favorites is up next. Number eleven, Hunter Pence. Como está mi niño? Que pasta? Tranquilo. No bueno, muy malo. Pachuco de pollo, arroz blanco, mi niño. Necesito. Mi sangre mucho fuerte. Necesito mucho practicar. Mucho grande necklace esto. What is happening? Dame mi niño. Lambone. Hi, I'm Lulu. Lulu's got your back. I'm Lulu. We're Lulu. She keeps it real here. Everyone I saw as soon as I got to spring training was like, where's Lulu? How about Lulu? Hi, Kevin. My superpowers? Hunter Pence eats kale so you don't have to. <laughs> Captain Intensity, here I come. When you see a fat guy with your shirt off, you're like, yeah! Hunter Pence thinks he's in Kansas. These pretzels are making me thirsty. <laughs> Two flaps if you're with me! Woo! Makes us feel better about ourselves, so thank you <laughs> for sucking. <laughs> Viva Dominicana! So happy he is back in the Bay Area where he was a two-time World Series champ. And last year, what are you pointing at? What do you got? Something just hit me. Hunter Pence is the guy to blame for the scooter revolution. It's his fault that now all the streets and all the cities are cluttered with these dang scooters. Oh, are you kidding me? There's nothing more annoying than walking down the street and these scooters are littered all over Scottsdale now. And you know whose fault it is? It's Hunter Pence's. Oh man, Hunter, we need your help, dude. If you started this, we gotta finish it. Clean up the scooters. Let's get let's get them out of the canals. It's a big issue. You know that, Rose. Everyone knows You're, what I'm you, talking you about. Could be onto something. I You're know right. something, You're right. those but he, made, he popularized those scooters. He did. He made it the big old thing. You're right. Oh, You're right. they're okay. dangerous too. I just, it, don't don't ever drink a scooter, 20, man. It's, it's not a good idea. It's not. Did we drug test you before today's show? Are you okay? I'll be. Jeez. 
Rose, I mean, have I been any different than the first time we met 15 years ago? Come on, man. It's a great call. You're right. Thank I should have started in 2005 back on Best Dan when you were a guest. Very quickly, I want to talk about Hunter Pence, the baseball player. He had to go to winter ball to rediscover himself, work on his swing. And last year, he would have been the starting DH for the American League in the All-Star game had he not got injured right before the break. I'm so happy that he's turned his career around. I got a lot of respect for him. And mainly, it's just he went to the Dominican to revitalize his career. The other thing is, it's, it, look, if we're not willing to make adjustments, we will die, and your career will die. And Hunter Pence knew that there were some adjustments that he needed to make with his swing. He went out there, he did it, went to the Dominican, and then ended up implementing it there, carried it on into spring training, then on into the season last year with the Texas Rangers. I think, you know, he's a model example for all, I would say aging players, but, but as we get older, we need to continue to evolve and adapt and make adjustments because if you're not changing, it, it, it will be over. And this guy, is, whatever he goes on to do after his baseball career, he's going to be very successful. This isn't a guy, I think, that lives and dies with everything that goes on on the field. Obviously, he has a lot of extracurricular things happening in his life, but oh, ultimately, you got one shot at this game, and you have one opportunity to play it for as long as possible, and you might as well get the most out of it, and that's what Hunter Pence has done. Very proud of him, no question. Yeah. A welcome addition back there in giant land. All right, let's see who's next. Number 10. Stephen Brault. Rudolph the red nose reindeer had a very shiny nose, like a light bulb. And if you ever saw it, you at home. The words, you would Join along. Say it close. Keep going. I'm uh, considering taking my shirt off, but uh, I don't know if I'm there. And I was very single, and I stayed very single with that haircut. I think Chris adds a lot, but at the same time, like he's not a cool guy. You know what I mean? That's me being really cool, as you yeah. can see. You got some awesome ink on your arms. Uh, Give us the background. I just want to clarify that last year, uh, you came out at me uh, and said it looked like Beehive. Uh, so don't pretend like you're just, oh yeah, it's so cool, man. I would like to hit this year if you could let me. 444. It's the longest home run by a pitcher yeah. last year. 444 yeah. feet. Of course, he ranked it. Dude hits bombs. Yeah. And it does yeah. look like a Beehive. All and right, it's not like it's a bad thing. I mean, just, just check it out. It's like a cool Beehive. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I like it that he took it back to Millar. All right, in 20 seconds, obviously the man can sing. We've had him do it several times on the air. Should he sing a new theme song for Intentional Talk for next year? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a new season coming up, sure. I'm on board. We need it. Yeah. Bring it, If Steven. they'll have us. If they'll have us. We'll He's got to get healthy and get back on Steven the mound, Brawl, too, though. We'll see you. Yeah, don't worry. He'll be there. He'll be there, beehive and all.